Hello, welcome to my bathroom. Today we're doing a 2023 skincare favorites morning routine, but I will also be mentioning my favorites for my nighttime routine. So many fun stuff. I feel like I haven't done a skincare video in so long, but especially if you have sensitive skin like me or just love good skincare, these products, they're the bomb. So let's go ahead and get started. First, kind of random, but I want to mention accessories that really make doing my skincare a little bit easier and less messy. First off, if you hate that feeling of washing your face and the water runs down your arm, these are from the brand Kish, which are these towel scrunchies. You can just put these on your wrist and it sort of absorbs and catches any liquid. They're also great for wet hair. So these are just so amazing and like they really do make doing your face wash and everything less moist. That's weird. You know what I'm saying. To go along with that, I also love these towel headbands. This one I have here is from Rose Ink. There's tons of companies that I believe Kitsch also has their own version of this. Really recommend it. Again, just keeps everything out of your face. First, let's talk about face wash. I cycle through a lot of face washes, but there's a couple over the years that really have stayed with me because they're so great. First, if you have more combo oily skin or maybe you're a little bit more acne prone, the Osea Ocean Cleanser, this is my backup, so it is full is really amazing. This is a cleansing gel, but it's actually quite creamy. It says that it's pH balance, removes surface impurities and excess oils, lactic acid, gently exfoliates. So it is a gently exfoliating cleanser. It definitely doesn't over dry my skin. I love, love, love the scent of Osea products. And this is a great one. If you want some of those more oil controlling properties or like it's a great summer cleanser. If you just want like a classic year round cleanser that foams up nicely and just gives you a really refreshed feeling. Again, this is my best up so it's still in the box the kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser from youth to the people this is such a classic product i've gone through countless bottles of this it is really gentle on sensitive skin it doesn't throw off the sort of ph of your skin and it's really just one of those cleansers that's great for any skin type love this as a second cleanse after removing my makeup my favorite makeup remover i don't have on hand i just ran out i have a lot of balm cleansers like the youth to the people one is nice Pharmacy Green Clean is a classic. That one does sting my eyes a bit though. My favorite is the Crave Beauty Makeup Remover. It actually comes in a tube or there's one from Coco Kind. I will have those in the description below. Okay, let's get started moving into toners. First is actually a newer product to me, but I've been loving it so much. The Maya Chia, the Optimist Hydrating Essence. This is basically just a really great face mist. I love a mist. This is obviously a more luxury product, but the mister is like like you get the finest mist and I feel like it actually makes you use less product because it is so fine. So this lasts quite a while. This smells amazing. It has this like orange, almost like ylang ylang scent. I'm not sure, but it is a really beautiful scent. Of course, if you're adverse to essential oils or anything, this might not be your favorite. But I do feel like it just gives me such a nice base for my other products. Also a huge fan of the Josh Rosebrook hydrating accelerator wanted to mention that one as well but next into these more like essence type products the Maya Chia product does claim to be an essence but I like to layer these because they're a bit thicker so this is my go-to for the nighttime which is more of an affordable brand so you're gonna be seeing a lot of peach and lily in this video this is like peach and lily's sister brand called peach slices which is an even more affordable version of their skincare and this is from their snail line it's the snail rescue blemish busting toner clarifying and strengthen for even clear skin extremely gentle product really nice affordable essence that alcohol free fragrance free cruelty free like it is just really evening for the skin i love it for nighttime because it really helps to heal blemishes super quickly even them out and sort of my main concerns are redness and i feel like this does really help with redness even though you know it's always going to be there but it does help even my skin tone the one that i use in the morning before makeup which is the one i'm going to be using today is from peach and lily this is the wild dew treatment essence so it just comes in a bottle and i'll just put a little bit on my hand so an essence is sort of a texture between a toner and a serum so it's not completely liquidy it has a little bit of body to it it really helps you dampen the skin so your serums and everything will absorb even better so in the morning actually a lot of the time if my skin doesn't feel like too gross i guess i actually won't do a full-on cleanser i will just take this product on a cotton round and it just cleanses the face in a really gentle way which is great if you have sensitive skin or dry skin because sometimes washing your face can really take the moisture out of your face i learned this from josh rosebrook but just taking 
like a toner essence on a cotton round to cleanse is really effective. So this absorbs really quickly and it just gives me a nice glow and base for other skincare. Also no scent with this. Most of Peach and Lily products are like very, very non-fragrance, which I love. Next for serums, I love the Osea Hyaluronic C Serum. This is my old one. Pulled out the new one to actually show you what it looks like. A hyaluronic serum is just like a go-to classic in my routine. Great for any skin type. And this one, hopefully you can see, it has this nice like more gel consistency so it absorbs really well. I mainly use this one at night and I will show you the other serum that I use during the day for under makeup. Surprise, another product from Peach and Lily. I really love this brand and it was like my brand for 2023 for skincare. This is their Glass Skin Refining Serum. It says it's a cocktail of peach extract, niacinamide, wild yam, matacososide, peptides, and hyaluronic acid. Not exactly sure how to pronounce that one, but this comes in a great little pump bottle. Classic hyaluronic serums, but it has that added niacinamide. I love the texture of this. It's really thin and it's not at all sticky. Sometimes hyaluronic serums can be a bit sticky, but like look how easy that glides on. And this does not pill under makeup. There are tons of skincare products, especially hyaluronic acid ones that can pill under makeup, but this combo is amazing and it never interferes with my application of makeup. As that sinks in, another nighttime serum favorite for something that's a little bit more moisturizing. I usually will use this on top of a hyaluronic serum, depending on how many serums I'm doing for the night. This is like my maximalist routine. This is the Pacifica Vegan Ceramide Serum. I've gone through a couple of these. Honestly, any of the like Pacifica moisturizing serums are really nice, very gentle on the skin. These do have like a little bit more of that like Pacifica fragrance, but I still don't mind it or notice it that much. And this one, as you can tell, it's a bit more of a creamy consistency, so it does blend on really easily. Another nighttime or daytime favorite, depending on the mood that I'm in, is from Merit Beauty. This is my second bottle. This is the Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. This is like a bi-phase serum, so you do have to shake it up. You can see it's really, really liquidy, so it can be a little bit hard to get into your hand without spilling it, but this has more of like a dry oilish feel almost. So if you like that extra layer of moisture, I think you'll really like this one, but I do use it mainly at nighttime because it can be a little bit heavier, but I still love it regardless. And the packaging, Beautiful. Next up is an ultra calming, very moisturizing serum from Crave Beauty, the Great Barrier Relief. I had heard about this for the longest time. I think they repackaged it. So I was really excited to try it out. It has a really nice green consistency. So this has Tamanu oil in it. It definitely smells nice and herbal. So this is made for a damaged skin barrier. If your skin is really sensitive or it's reacting to something, this is just so extremely soothing. It feels like a really light moisturizer and it kind of just like coats your skin and it just feels so nice and juicy. This as a winter product is amazing. It's just like, you know, that dry winter skin. You're feeling a little bit chapped. This is just the best. Is Crave Beauty a K-beauty brand? I'm also wondering that about Peach and Lily because it seems like my skin and the way they formulate like is my favorite type of skincare for sensitive skin. Like they just really make great soothing products. This next product is if I have like a dry nose like I do right now, I'm sick or my lips are really chapped and I need something super thick. I'll even use this on my face if I have very, very dry skin or just use it as a mask. This is, I'm not sure how to pronounce this brand, from Credo Beauty. It's a pure Nalotica melt. This is essentially a pure shea butter, really high quality shea butter. And you just need like literally the tiniest amount of this. And you could just put it on like any super dry areas. I will mainly do this at night so it doesn't interfere with my makeup. It's super simple, but it works so good. So I wanted to mention it. So I do not exfoliate in the morning unless it's maybe an exfoliating cleanser. So I wanted to mention my favorite exfoliating products for the nighttime, a brand that works so well with my skin. I have really sensitive skin, especially when it comes to exfoliating products. A lot of them can be too strong for me. So I really cut back on the amount of days that I do it. And I've just found that this brand makes really great stuff for my skin. So the brand is Alpha H. I have two products here. This one's like kind of nasty looking and it is literally empty. This is the Beauty Sleep Power Peel with 0.5% retinol. So this is like, I would definitely recommend this as like a beginner retinol. It's been so great and gentle. If I maybe forgot to exfoliate or I'm only doing it like once a week, 
This is my go-to because it's a little bit stronger and if you just feel like your skin looks dull, if you put this on, you will wake up in the morning and your skin will be glowing. Love, love, love this one. And then this one I can use a little bit more frequently. This is their Liquid Gold Midnight Reboot Serum with 14% glycolic acid and tripeptide 5. So that one is a retinol product and this one is a glycolic acid product. Has this nice thin consistency. It smells a little bit like, I don't know, it kind of just smells like very professional skincare. Like it doesn't have a scent, but it doesn't smell bad either. Maybe a little bit lemony, but this, I really like the consistency. It's not sticky like a lot of, you know, exfoliating products can be on the skin. And again, it's just a little bit more gentle. I can use it more often, but gives me just as good results as the Power Peel. I'm still getting the hang of using this and I was not using it for a while because I was using the Power Peel, but now that that's done, I might hop back into this, which is from Marie Veronique, another brand that is sold on Credo. This is the Multi-Retinol Night Emulsion. So this is a vitamin A formula, two times the amount of retinol, block each hole, work synergistically along different pathways to improve skin quality, and it's a more effective alternative to prescription retinoids without the usual redness and irritation. So this was sort of formulated for more sensitive skin as a version of retinol. This is like, Still very heavy duty for my sensitive skin. You definitely have to ease into it, like only using it once a week and then, you know, getting your skin used to it. It's fragrance and essential oil free. You need the tiniest amount. Comes in this very like medical looking tube because it really is like, you know, medical grade skincare where it's gonna make a huge difference in your skin. This is a pricey product, but I love that it's a retinol formulated for sensitive skin and you do get a lot of use out of this. So I will have to hop back into this. I was really enjoying it when I was using it, but I overdid it accidentally and had to take a little bit of a break from it. I have tried a couple different retinols, including the Power Peel. That one seems even more gentle than this one, but yeah, I still love this one. For eye creams, I'm not a huge eye cream user. I find they usually interfere with concealer, but during the nighttime, I do really like the Youth of the People Dream Eye Cream. Peach and Lily also has a really nice retinol eye cream. This is simple and lightweight, and I really like the texture of this one. Some of them can be a bit too thick and they just don't sink in, like I mentioned. This whole Youth of the People Superberry line, I really, really love the overnight mask as well. I just, whenever I buy that, I go through it so quickly. But Youth of the People is one of my other favorite skincare brands. And if I have some blemishes and I don't wanna do a full exfoliating product, I will reach for this from Hero Cosmetics, which is their Pimple Correct Acne Clearing Gel Pen. This is a little pen and you sort of just like push up the product and then you could just put it on blemishes. I love the idea of this because when I have blemishes, it's like I wanna do an exfoliating serum, but I don't wanna put it all over my face. So this is just genius because you could just like bah, exfoliate. You could also just use this, you know, if you have some dry skin and you only wanna exfoliate in one area without irritating the rest of your skin but this is nice and gentle as well. Love Hero Cosmetics. Had to mention some of my favorite tools, first being the Dermablend Pore, nope, Dermaflash, pore extractor and serum infuser. I mostly just use this as a pore extractor. So you push this button and it sort of like turns on, it like vibrates. I don't know how to describe it. I think it's like ultrasonic. And then you make sure you have a moist face and you could literally like scrape out the sebum and blackheads from your nose. Way more effective than like those blackhead strips. This is just so good. I have this special edition glitter one, which I love. They have sales sometimes. I think I also have a coupon code. Again, this is a bit pricey, but it's like my most used skincare duel. Like it actually has changed the way my skin looks. So I really recommend it. Another favorite is my TheraFace. I have a whole video on it here and how I use it. Great for TMJ pain. It has so many different heads for it a hot head, a cold head, also has the massaging one, a cleansing brush. It's just like a do-it-all skincare tool. So instead of having a bunch of different things, you could just have that one. For moisturizers, let's talk about my nighttime versions. Osea Seabiotic Water Cream. I do also like this for daytime, but it's just currently in my upstairs bathroom. So this is a really nice light blue cream. Smells pretty good. So this is like a really interesting texture. It's definitely on the thicker side, which is why I use it mostly for nighttime. It just creates a really nice barrier on your skin to keep moisture in, but it doesn't feel like too heavy or greasy. I think if you have like normal to drier skin, you'll really like this one. Now, if my skin's really, really dry or irritated, the Josh Roseberg Advanced Hydration Mask. This is such a classic product. I've had these for years, not this specific one, but, but Josh Roseberg is one of my all time favorite skincare brands. He just makes like amazing formulas. This one, as you can tell, I am running out of 
This is the best thing I've ever smelled. Blue Tansy is one of my favorite scents because of Josh Rosebrook. So this is the hydrating facial mask, which you can use as a mask, but I really like it as an overnight treatment. I believe this has some shea butter in it. It is super thick. It'll make you look very oily, but you just have to go with it. And then when you wake up the next day, your skin will be glowing. You could also just use this as a mask in the morning and then wipe it off and your skin will be just so calm. If you have extra dry skin, you would love this, but I also use it having more combo skin. I used to love facial oils so much and I just ran through them and I was trying to use some of my other skincare that I have on hand, but I just recently tried this one, but I had to mention it as a 2023 favorite because it just reminded me how much I love facial oils, but this one's also a really great formula. This is the Maya Chia Super Couple, something I can't pronounce, and Chia Ultra Luxe facial oil. If you don't like a heavy feeling facial oil, this is a really good like intro to oils. It's very thin. I mean, look at the color. Super like nutrient packed and it just Oils do something for my skin that moisturizers just don't do. I've tried so many, but as a nighttime moisturizer, it's just my favorite thing. Coco Kind also makes more affordable facial oils if you're looking for an affordable option. Or again, similar to this price, a little bit more mid-range would be like the Pi Skincare Rosehip Oil, another great one. These also, these oils that have rosehip in them, I feel like they make such a difference with my like dark spots, acne scarring. Now, two moisturizers that will not pill with your makeup, at least if you're using like water-based makeup, are the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream and the Crave Beauty Oh So Simple Water Cream. I don't use the facial oil in the morning because I do use a water-based foundation and those two do not mix, so the foundation doesn't look good. So it's really important to sort of take into consideration what makeup you're wearing. These just work for me. The Crave Beauty Oh So Simple Cream is super simple. Let me find the ingredients. I can't find the ingredients, but it is as simple as it says it is. This is like, yeah, water cream, really gel-like. So it actually barely feels like anything on your skin and it just sinks in super beautifully. If you have like oily skin or you like a really light moisturizer, this one's great. And then definitely my favorite cream for under makeup of all time is the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. You can tell it has this really gorgeous green color. So this one compared to the Crave Beauty one, the Crave Beauty one is a little bit thinner. I just like how this gives me slightly more of like I guess a barrier on my skin. It's so soothing like all the other Peach and Lily products and it goes well with the Peach and Lily serum that we use and the essence, like they all work really well together. None of them pill and they're just the best for under makeup. I also really love their gel moisturizer. I use that mostly in the summertime because I like something a little bit thicker in the winter. But that one is like, if you have oily skin, you hate the feeling of moisturizer. It like sinks in and gives you moisture while feeling like basically nothing. Like I feel like it's almost oil controlling in a way. It's amazing. Last but not least, let's talk about some masks. Some of my favorite eye masks are the 100% pure bright eyes. I also love the Jillian Dempsey ones. Those are really like like moisturizing and like a little bit less gel-like than these. My favorite exfoliating mask is from Pi Skincare, but this is the Copaba Deep Cleanse AHA mask. So this has an exfoliating property in it. It's sort of like a clay-based mask and this has combination in blemish prone. So yeah, if I just feel like my skin is really dull, I will put this on and it's definitely like a little bit stronger, but Pi Skincare is for sensitive skin, so it's still non-irritating. Then my favorite favorite sheet masks are these from Orgade. These are the, this is just a multi-pack actually, which is really fun. These are super simple and clean and just give your skin like that really juicy, like, oh, they're just so good. So you get the little variety pack here with, I think these are four different kinds here. We have a vitamin C one, a firming one, anti-aging moisturizing. Okay, another vitamin C one. Out of the ones I tried, I don't think I necessarily have a favorite. They all are really nice. I do find like the firming ones a little bit more moisturizing. The vitamin C one gives you that brightening. Do they fit my face great? No, but I've never found a sheet mask that does. That's kind of just the vibe. You put it on, you look weird and you chill, but you got good skin after. So I really like these ones. I recommend the variety pack and then that way you can sort of find out which one is your favorite. Now my skin is so moisturized and ready for makeup. Of course, sunscreen is super important. For my sunscreen favorites, I will have a video that I did linked because I did a review of basically every sunscreen I've ever tried, my favorite. So if you're curious, check there. But after this, I would do a sunscreen, let it sink in before I move on to makeup. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my skincare favorites of 2023. I would love to know your favorites in the comments below. Or let me know if you've tried any of these products and what you think of them. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.